Well, hello again, geometry friends. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, here we go. I want to remind you that this is always going to be available to you, so at any time you can pause it, do whatever you need to do, take the notes down though, right? And then let's get some practice. So here we go. Um, just brushing up on solving equations. Okay, so just a couple of reminders. Um, you just want to kind of remember whenever you solve equations that you want to get all the variables, that's all the letters, okay, all the letters together on one side of the equal sign and then everything that doesn't have a letter on the other side, okay, and um, the sides don't really matter. And then um, if you're dealing with fractions and you don't like fractions, um, you want to maybe consider multiplying the whole equation by something so that it'll clear all the fractions, okay, but we'll get to that in just a second. Okay, so here we go, just practice, practicing and brushing up on distributing, right? So here we're going to have to do a little distribution here. And then you have to be really careful. When you have a parentheses and there's a negative out in front of it, it's actually a negative 1 right there. So that negative 1 has to get distributed to both terms. So that's 4x minus 12 minus x, right? And then a negative times a negative makes a positive 5. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and collect these terms. I'm going to collect these. So a 4x minus 1x is 3x. Okay, I'll go ahead and combine the things that don't have a letter attached. Okay, so that would be negative 7. Okay, then we want to isolate um, the variable term. So that means I'm going to move, I think I'll move the 7 over there. So that's 3x equals 7, last step. We want to isolate the variable completely, so I'll divide, and we end up with 7 thirds, final answer. Okay, 7 thirds. All right, let's take a look at this one. Now, on a problem like this, this is a proportion. We're going to talk a lot about proportions um, in semester two, but whenever you just have a fraction equals another fraction, just like this, one fraction on this side, one fraction on this side, you can always cross multiply and solve, okay? So cross multiply, okay, this times this, so five times one is five, then drop the equal sign, and then crisscross the other way, okay? So when you crisscross the other way, that's a four times a binomial, so keep the binomial in parentheses, okay? And then now let's just continue, so distribute, so that's four z plus four, equals 5 over here. And now this is already kind of isolated. There's just one term. So I'm going to move all the terms that don't have a variable to one side. 5 minus 4 is 1. And then we just want to get the z by itself. So we'll just divide by 4. And we'll get that z equals 1 fourth. Okay, final answer. Okay, so let's take a look at this last one over here. Okay. Um, so many of us don't like fractions, right? Okay, it's pretty common. Um, so take a look at the denominators here, 3, 4, and 12. What's the smallest number that 3, 4, and 12 all go into? Okay, so just think about it. 3, 6, 9, 12, right? 4, 8, 12, right? And then 12 itself. So what we can do here is think about the, num the smallest number that they all go into, which in this case is a 12 and multiply the entire equation by 12, which by the way, of course, is the same as 12 over, over one. Now just do a big distribution, okay? So you have a over three times 12 over one minus three uh, a over four times 12 over one equals one over 12 times 12 over one, okay? So now let's just clean all these up, okay? So a over three times 12 over one, 3 goes into itself once, and it goes into 12 four times, okay? And so this front term actually becomes a 4 times an A, or a 4A, okay? And then now let's just look at this part, okay? 4 down here, 12 up here. 4 goes into itself once, and it goes into 12 three times, okay? And so now this second term right here is a negative 3A times 3, which is negative 9A, Okay, and then lastly, 1 over 12 and 12 over 12. 12 goes into itself once and into itself once. So 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 is just 1. And you see how now, right, by multiplying the whole equation by 12, now we're at an equation that doesn't have fractions anymore, right? Perfect. So let's combine these. That's negative 5a equals 1. And then we can just divide by negative 5, and we'll get that a is negative 1 fifth. 
Okay? All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at the you all problem. Last one, pause it. Give it a try. I'll just give you a quick hint. You might want to multiply the whole equation by 9, 9 over 1, if you want to go ahead and clear that fraction. Okay? And so try it. Pause it for yourself. And the answer you should be getting is 18. Okay, so get to your practice, and good luck.